He's a former NFL player who became a mental health expert when he realized the power of therapy. And it is now his mission to help others live their best lives. His book, Just Heal Bro, is out now. Would you please welcome Jay Barnett? All right, Jay. how you doing? Thank you for having me, sir. I'm so glad you're here. So many questions for you. But first of all, you were a professional football player. So how did, from the, uh, being a professional football player to becoming a therapist, what, what, what happened there? A lot happened, <laughs> let's just say that. So uh, for me, uh, after football, I lost my sense of identity and just even just my self-worth. And as most men, we attach ourselves to what we do. Right. And when I no longer could play football, I found myself in a very deep depression. And as I've shared uh, across the globe, I'm a two-time suicide survivor. And so after surviving my second suicide attempt, I realized I needed to get some help because football was how I coped. Okay. It was my self-medication, you know. Right. It, 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 it was my drug that I used to kind of cope with my childhood pain, uh, not having a father to celebrate me at that time, and just not having a man to really be present in my life. And when football left, I didn't have the coaches anymore, and I didn't have that camaraderie. You know, it's very interesting because you say, uh, I, and I know this too, that men have a lot of trouble expressing their feelings. And you say that this starts when they're born. Absolutely. I think the way boys are socialized, you hear uh, boys shouldn't cry and you hear the man up. Those terms, uh, what it does, it, it teaches a young boy psychologically to repress his emotions. Mm. And, and if you learn how to repress your emotions, you never really learn how to express them. And so for most boys, it comes out in anger. And so that becomes the only emotion that we learn how to express. And what I've been doing uh, with my book and even on the Jess Hill Bro Tour is encouraging men to journal. Uh, I believe the man who finds his voice finds his way. And I found my way through journaling. So then how can we, I'm a single mother and I'm raising my son. So how can we, as there's a lot of single mothers raising boys, how do we, you know, how do we help our, our boys grow up to be men who can open up? So how do we help them open up more? I, I would say the, the first thing is we've heard over the past couple of years, right, holding, I mean, uh, creating space. Right. But I like to say holding space because boys, you know, we process, and men, we process silently and sometimes giving them time to find the language. Many times it's not that we don't know how to communicate as men we just don't know how to say it okay. and we don't have the language that women have and, and again uh, from the childhood women are encouraged tell me how you feel and boys when they cry it's kind of like hey you know we, you, you don't do that mm -hmm. and so I would encourage mothers single mothers to give him a space to where he can tell you how he feels the best way he can it may not sound or come out as you would think but just allowing him to express that that encourages him and then also allow him to feel heard and feel seen. Okay, I got you. Now, this is something I, I didn't realize. You said you, you believe that men should buy themselves flowers. Oh yeah, absolutely. Yes. Really? Yes, yes. My, uh, I, I grew up in the South and my grandmother always uh, would make these arrange, uh, arrangements uh, with sunflowers. Right. And so I've fallen in love with flowers and every week I buy myself flowers and it's been the greatest form of self-care. And, um, and, and, and one of the things that is often heartbreaking is that most men only receive flowers at death. Mm. And so what I'm encouraging men to do is to buy themselves flowers, uh, to be uh, kind to themselves, because the more that we're kind to ourselves as men, I believe it allows us to tap into those levels of sensitivity and even be able to be affectionate within ourselves. And that's why it's hard for brothers to be emotional um, in relationship, because we have not practiced it enough as women have. Wow. You know, it's, it's the, I, I want to know what are the things that we can do every day to try to improve our mental health? Uh, the first thing I would say is start your day in silence. Okay. We live in a noisy world. Uh, I encourage my, my nieces and nephews, do not wake up and pick up their phone. Leave it alone. <laughs> <laughs> the emails can wait. Them text messages, the DMs can wait. I believe when you start in silence, you give yourself an opportunity to collect yourself. And I think you give yourself an opportunity to sit with your thoughts, how you want to start your day. And I think it also allows you to feel your heartbeat. Uh, anytime you can feel your heartbeat, I think there's a, a sense of gratitude. Uh, number right. two, I would say um, setting boundaries that, that benefit you. Oftentimes, the boundaries we create 
benefit others. Okay. Uh, learning how to leave work at work and allowing that boundary to be solid. That way when you get home, home is where you can unpack, where you can debrief, decompress, and I think... Wow, so much stuff. So start the day in silence, set boundaries that benefit us. Yes. I love this. And then lastly, I would add, be kind to yourself. Be more... We, 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 we live in such a critical society, and I think as individuals, we need to be more compassionate toward ourselves um, and not be so hard on ourselves. We all feel like we're in this race, and I, I, I encourage all of my... My circle is everybody has their own journey, yes. but as you're on your journey, just give the attention to yourself that you need so you can be the best version of yourself. Thank you for that. Jay, I'm so glad you're here. You got to yes. come back because there's so much stuff and I know the audience is going to want to ask you some questions, so I'm thankful that you are here even yes. right now. Jay's journal, Just Heal Bro, is out now, and for more info, go to his, on his tour, go to sherryshowtv.com. Mm -hmm.